Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jados X here with a follow-up for Mini Top Monday Episode 4 where we talked about animatable Boolean operations. If you haven't seen that video already, I recommend you check it out here because this is a tutorial for the third demo where we made use of an intersection Boolean operation to create some pretty cool phasing effects. So what we have is we have an apparatus of tubes similar to this one about here and a box and we animated these tubes and these ones responded accordingly. And as a result, it creates this pretty cool phasing effect where parts of the tubes here phase in and out of existence as they rotate, which is kind of cool. And that's what we're going to create today. So I'm just going to clear off our scene. And we're going to start from scratch. So here's our apparatus of tubes, and we're going to make them intersect with the box. I'll just move those over a bit so it's more apparent. Here we go, it looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to have these intersect with the box, and whatever's left is going to be animated. To make this work, I'm going to create an instance of the uh, tubes so that we can manipulate them after they've been cut. You can do that by holding shift and dragging. Make sure instance is selected and hit OK. Most of the work's now done for that part. And um, what you have to do is also make sure that each of the tubes has an X form modifier. So I'm just going to delete those and I'm going to create them later and also explain why those are important. Now, it's difficult to do a boolean operation on more than one object simultaneously so we're going to start by union doing a union boolean on these three tubes that way we only have two objects we're going to work with so to do that open up a pro boolean and make sure it's set to union and to make your day easier make sure this is set to no edge removal after that's done just make sure you pick the other two tubes and now we've got a union object which is just a composite object of these three here. Now despite that being a composite object they're all still referencing these three here so if we manipulate this this will still change. So now that that's done we can just do our regular intersection boolean operation so with the tubes selected hit up pro boolean make sure that's set to intersection and also that this is set to no edge removal and just pick the box and now what we're left with is the intersection of those two pieces. Now what we have to do now is make these, uh, make this such that when we manipulate this piece that these rotate as well. Uh, you'll notice that if you try to move these around in world space that nothing happens to our, uh, our boolean operation. This is to be expected. To get this to work we have to add an X form modifier to each of these. The reason for this is because the X form modifier is it's basically a way of translating all the information in world space while holding this object itself in the same location. It gives you the exact same effect as just moving the object around, but it's a little bit different in its implementation, which means that it works well with these Boolean operations. So now that I've given each of these individual tubes an X form modifier, you can go ahead and you can actually just rotate these. So open up the gizmo, select the gizmo for the X form modifier, just go ahead and give this a rotation, and you'll notice that the corresponding uh, tube in our intersection boolean operation is also rotating and it's creating some pretty cool phasing effects and it works really well. Let's do a quick animation. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick auto key where I just key the positions and then rotate them slightly and we're going to see what it looks like. It's the first one done. Oops, I made a mistake there. Make sure you always have the gizmo selected, otherwise you won't see anything happening. Here we go. It's pretty easy to forget to select the gizmo. There we go. So if we play this back now, you can see that quite a few pieces of the um, the tubes are phasing in and out of existence, and it looks pretty cool. A good application for this is if you're trying to create, for example, a holograph scanner. And uh, for example, in uh, many movies or games, you might see a holographic layout of a map. And as objects walk out of the map, they might phase in from one edge, and then as they walk across the map, they then phase out of existence there. This um, this technique would actually be perfect to create that fairly easily and you wouldn't end up with anything, any messy handling of materials and opacity maps or anything like that. 
Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've learned something.